Hello folks, the Galaxy S20 Ultra was Samsung's first smartphone with a long-range zoom camera. It featured a 48 megapixel telephoto camera with 4x optical zoom and up to 100x digital zoom, aka space zoom. Later that year, the company dropped the telephoto camera resolution to 12 megapixel with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra but increased the optical zoom to 5x. With the Galaxy S21 Ultra, it settled for two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras with 3x and 10x zoom. Next year, the company is making the biggest change to zoom cameras over the past three years, according to a report from Galaxy Club. The Galaxy S24 Ultra will reportedly feature more zoom level for one of its telephoto cameras. After using a set of two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras, 3x and 10x, for three years, Samsung will finally replace the 3x telephoto camera with a 5x telephoto camera on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. To be honest, this seems like a dubious decision. Obviously, they will rely on digital zoom at up to 5x magnification, but digital crop is nowhere near to replace actual optical lens, so what would you choose, 3x optical zoom or 5x optical zoom? While there have been reports of Samsung trying to implement a continuous zoom lens for telephoto cameras on its future phones, it looks like the company will stick to a combination of two telephoto cameras for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. No further details about the resolution of the telephoto cameras on the Galaxy S24 Ultra have been revealed so far. Since the launch of the Galaxy S24 Ultra is expected to happen in early 2024, we expect to see more information about its cameras by the end of this year. Yeah. So far, it has been reported that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will stick to a 200 megapixel sensor for its main camera. The company will also bring more RAM and storage to base variants of the Galaxy S24. Unlike this year, Samsung could bring back Exynos chips with the Galaxy S24 series. The Exynos 2400 with an upgraded AMD GPU with 4x more performance is reportedly in the works. It could also be the first smartphone series for Samsung to run Android 14 out of the box. Speaking of Android 14, Android smartphones don't have an iPhone-like battery health feature that displays a battery's maximum remaining capacity compared to the original capacity. Samsung shows battery health in the Samsung Members app, but it doesn't display an accurate percentage of remaining capacity as iPhones do. However, with Android 14, Google has added new capabilities that could bring detailed battery health statistics to Android phones and tablets. Android expert Michelle Rahman has revealed that Google has added new capabilities to the Battery Manager APIs with Android 14. These new capabilities Capabilities allow devices to report more detailed information about battery health, including battery charge cycle count, charge policy, charging status, date of first use, manufacturing date, and the state of health. However, these new APIs are currently only available on Pixel devices running Android 14 Beta 2 on UM. The battery health statistics shown in this image are through an app called Bad that uses new battery health APIs. It is possible that Samsung may use these new battery health APIs in Android 14 based one US 6.0 to accurately surface more battery health related information on Galaxy smartphones and tablets. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.